Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a little a little set uh, with the gelin polishes that we've got recently. Um yes I've put colours on the top and but um I'll let you know what we've got. So we've got 188 out of the set. We've got 102 out of the set. We have 185 out of the set and 075 out of the set. And we've got the base coat. So I'm gonna put the base coat on because I'm doing the whole set with the gel. Sometimes I put the base coat on, sometimes I don't. But it does sit better on the tips if I use base coat. But I'm just using a tiny thin layer. You get a couple of nails out of because you only need a little bit. We'll get that in the length. 60 seconds these are. So we'll have a quick look at the colours while well. So I'm not able to work anymore. Um, I had an accident and head in head injury left us with balance issues and vertigo, etc. Uh, so this was my solace, something to do. I learned how to do my nails in lockdown, the first lockdown is when I started doing nails, acrylic and gel, hard gel, all that shebang. As they say, um, and then at the end of last year, I um, was medically discharged from my job because I couldn't do it anymore. So this keeps me sane because going from being a very active, independent woman, I have gone to not getting out for the house very often. And yeah, that often causes me anxiety when I do go out because I'm worried because I worry about my balance and vertigo. So there you go. That's me anyway. So I'm not having a whinge about it. That's not the uh, the intent. It was just to let you know how I ended up doing nails. But um, I don't do my nails on camera very often because I've got dodgy hands. So so here we go. This is a lovely. Like sparkly blue, it's gorgeous. So we've got a sparkly blue and a sparkly, it's like a purple, like a, a lavender -y colour I think it is. So we're just going to put a couple of coats of this one on and a couple of coats of the other one on. And then we'll take it from there. I'm just, uh, wait, I've got it on the cuticle. Don't do that on a client obviously, but um, Tipsy doesn't seem to mind to be fair. But I prefer not to get it on. Because it's a pain in the bum. There we are. So that's that one. And then we've got this gorgeous lavendery sparkly one. We'll put this one over here. Now they are quite sheer, so we'll just we'll just build them up. Here we go. Let's pop them to one side. I think we'll mix them up. We'll have the blue next to the pit. No, oh, that's not a very good blue, is it? Mm, is it? I think that's the only blue we have in the set. It doesn't it goes isn't too bad. Mm, not sure about that one. Hey, I can always pull a tip out there. I don't like it. Which, as you well know, I can do often. Sometimes when you start a set of nails, when you've got an idea in your head, it doesn't always pan out. So even when you're doing a person, I mean, I don't do clients on like that. I'm not, my hands aren't strong enough. I do uh, my daughter-in-law maybe sometimes and I'm on, that's it. I 
that's only when I'm feeling well enough to do it. Come on. What a big black hair. There we go. Gotcha. It's a nice colour blue, but I'm not sure it's going to go with the set. But we shall see. And then what have we got? We've got a lilac equal. I just like the colours together. See, that looks more like that. I'm just going to find some nice stickers to put on. See what we've got in my little collection. Um, now, for some reason, I seem to be talking quiet. I've no idea why, because I'm actually quite loud. But you know when you're talking to yourself and you kind of whisper because you think people are going to think you're a bit nuts? Yeah, I think that's what it is. So, I uh, apologies if I am not talking loud enough. I shall have to get louder. Then you will know about it. Yeah, It's a pretty colour, isn't it? It's not bad coverage either, is it? Of those. Alright, we'll get that in the lamp. Yeah, that's nice. I think what I might do is I might put some of this over that. Yeah. See what it looks like. We can always wipe it off, can't we? I think it might just go with the set a bit better if it's just got a little bit of torn it down a bit is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So let's have a look. Put some flowers on. That's a nice one. Let's stick that one on. So I think I shall do the opposites. Yeah, we'll do the opposites. That's pretty. And then we'll get some hearts on. And the blue. You can get these off AliExpress, by the way. They come with a little cover on the end. Just in case anyone was wondering. Let's look at the tinky one here. It's good for foils and pressing your stickers down. And then you're not touching the inhibition layer. So I don't want to be doing that. Side a bit cute and shall we have oh I thought it might have been a half blue one but it's not it was a half pink one that'll do oh there's a half purple one half blue there we go that's what I'm looking for and see for looking. What we do is we'll pop him on there. These are turning up quite pretty. Mm. 
Too close to the edge, I think. It's better. And these are quite raised, but you know, we're just uh, I was considering doing them matte, to be honest. I'm not sure yet. Pink heart, I think. Can't do the matte because I haven't got any matte in the gelling, so it'll have to be shiny, 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 shiny. I might do a base coat first. decide if I like them or not. <laughs> it may be a bit plain. As you know, I don't often do plain. <laughs> A little sticker on there. I think it's about to get very noisy as my son has just emerged from the back of beyond Goldie's pit. As I said, I don't want them flat. I don't mind them raised. I just want to. Get them sealed in a bit. Don't mind them lumpy bumpy. There we are. It's a cute little set. Some pastel colours. These really do shimmer. These two end ones. Gorgeous. And some stickers just to show you how it's just... You know, you could, if you wanted to, encapsulate these so that they're um, smooth, if that's what you want, if, if you don't like Lumpy Bumpy. But I quite like the 3D effect. So that's why I've tried to sort of rub the polish top coat in so that they still get those raised bits of flowers. So if you'd like to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, that'd be great. Um, ding the bell, you'll never miss an upload. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.